Once there was a boy who lived in a large city called Fairville. He had a lot of friends in school, and like most kids, he played sports after school. One day, however, the boy did not feel well. He stayed home from school and lay in bed all day. His mother took his temperature, 102 degrees. His face was clammy and he felt dizzy. He certainly was not as hungry as he usually was. He could perhaps eat a little soup, but certainly not pizza. All he wanted to do was sleep. His mother said he would wait until the next day to see how he felt before she would take him to the doctor. For the few minutes a day that he wasn't sleeping, he held on to his smartphone and watched short videos. He checked his email and took photos of his pet dog, Barker, who insisted on lying on the bed with him. Finally, he decided to open his Twitter account and posted this tweet. Dizzy in my head, and I can't explain. Homesick, can't eat, have fever. Hashtag at homesick, hashtag I hate being sick, hashtag sick in Fairville. Hashtag Dizzy Fairville. The boy dabbled with Twitter occasionally and had a few followers, mostly from his school and sport friends. Never a lot of action on that site. He was more of an Instagram fan. The boy fell asleep for an hour or two. When he woke, he checked his Twitter account and saw that his tweet was reposted 29 times and the hashtag I hate being sick had more than a hundred posts, all from people who seemed to be homesick. He decided to check the hashtag Dizzy and Fairville, and there were at least a thousand posts. When the boy looked closer, he recognized 58 names from his school. Since he had nothing else to do, he decided to map his six schoolmates' homes just to see how it looked. Since he remembered that Twitter could actually track keywords and hashtags, he went to the site and searched on hashtag sick in Fairville. What he saw surprised him since people posting this were farther out from his school. And when he searched on at home sick, he saw that there was a strong trend that this sickness was going down to Charleston, South Carolina. There was a good chance many of these kids had not been seen yet by a physician. But somehow through social media, it was quite apparent there was some contagion moving through the boys' school and city.